This morning we're going to be joined by Anthony Betancourt, who is the Chairman and CEO of Coverity. We'll be joined by Steve Feiss, who is the UK CEO of SQS, our development testing partner. And we're also joined, and our main event this morning, will be Ben Riches, who is the Director of Shared Services and Governance at Aviva, and Paul Aisha, who is Head of QA at Aviva. And they'll be talking through their own real-world experiences of undertaking the revolution. They've done it internally in a couple of, of their major business units, and they're going to share their warts and all, I hope, gents, um, experiences about how they got on. So, without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Anthony Betancourt, the CEO and Chairman of Coverity. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. I want to give you our point of view, if I, if I can, about development testing. Um, Mark Andreessen, the, the famed founder of Netscape and uh, venture capitalist in the Silicon Valley, wrote an article called Software is Eating the World. It's about the displacement of technology companies or regular companies by technology companies. Think what Netflix has done to blockbusters. Think what Amazon has done to booksellers. It's it's the IP of software that has changed most of these companies. And it's forcing all companies to become software companies. Now that's a very good thing, but it's also a very dangerous thing. If you're building hardware, there's ver design verification testing technologies that drive this stability of boards. That's why PC boards, mainframe boards, that's why they all work. If you're building chips, there's EDA software, but what's lacking is the guardrails, if you will, for regular software. The fact that there, there are no guardrails means that building software great causes displacement, building software pro improperly causes disasters. You could think about this 60 to 100 billion per year of quality and security problems that cause exchanges to fail, that cause breaches in, 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 in credit card data to, to leak out to the field. These are the kind of things that we're on top of and that are top of mind to us all the time. We think a way to make of this risk is to test early and often. Um, our companies, and we have about 1,200 of the world's largest uh, companies on the planet, we call them the Global 2000, focus on this discipline of finding defects early in the process. Finding quality defects, security defects, test gap defects, because it's much cheaper to find them in development than it is to let them leak to quality assurance. It might cost you $2,000 to fix a defect in, in development, it might cost you 25000 to fix it in QA. It might cost you 150000 to fix it in release. Um, and by the time you ship the product, if you happen to be a medical, medical device company, it might cost you $15 million when an infusion pump fails. Or it might cost you $750 million if your stock exchange fails on a big public offering. So we say find it early, and our, and our customers are a testament to this, that they do find these things early and they, they mitigate the risk of these black swan events that could be detrimental to businesses. So a little bit about us. We were founded in 2003 out of Stanford. Uh, we now have 285 employees, about 14 patents, seven more pending. Um, we've spent about a third of our revenues back into R&D because we have to, because all of you are being forced to ship faster, sooner, with, with fewer resources. There's also the risk of supply chain. You're being forced to embed more third-party code or more, more open source. So our job is to be your backstop. And quite a backstop we are. We have about five billion lines of code under management with our customer base. Um, if you just look around the phone or your personal devices, no Samsung Galaxy device will ship without us. No Cisco router will ship without us. No LG TV will ship without us. GM hardens the wireless in their automobiles. They have this fun commercial on television in the US where it shows someone landing, uh, landing a plane, it's snowing, they pick up their phone, they, they press a button, they start their car remotely to warm it up. Um, if that wireless is, is hacked, an ABS braking system can, be, can actually be deactivated. So it's, it's a fun commercial, but it's kind of a dangerous technology. Um, we run the NASDAQ now, we run the, the NYSC, we run Direct Edge. We're heavily deployed. Uh, Google Chromebooks, all of that, all of that code in Chrome goes through Coverity. So again, about 1,200 customers, about 350,000 developers worldwide, um, and we are moving the needle for software development. That said, um, I want to thank you for your time. I want to turn this over to Steve Feiss.